Good morning, YouTube. It is 7.30 in the morning, and I got off work at 5. Haven't slept yet. Got my cup of coffee. Big cup of coffee. Almost got sprayed by a skunk last night. That was not fun at all. Actually, I didn't get sprayed by it. It was coming under the fence. And I just happened to see it out of the corner of my eye. And uh, <laughs> I booked it. It actually saw me. Probably before I saw it. And it pulled it, its head back out. Or pulled its head back in. Uh, under the fence. Which was a good thing. Because I really didn't want to get sprayed by a skunk. So. As you all know. wife and I are going to be celebrating our uh, three-year wedding anniversary coming up on the this Wednesday and I did have all these plans for it like I was going to rent a limo and go to uh, you know really kick-ass bed and breakfast in Vancouver mainly just so we could be close you know in case something happened with the kids or whatever knock on wood um, but of course that all fell through because I didn't get my taxes back yet, or my refund back yet. Which, that's a big pet peeve of mine. It's, it's ironic that when it comes to you owing money to the government, I don't care if it's in the States or in Canada here, uh, they're all over your ass like a bear on honey to get it back from you. Oh, you owe us money, give it to us now. But, when it comes to them owing you money, they uh, take their sweet ass time. Like I phoned up what they call CRA, which is Canada Revenue Agency up here. And the guy I spoke to was all like, oh, well, it can take six to eight weeks, sir, to process. You know, everybody gets laid off after tax season. Right. Okay. Fair enough. You know, I can wait because I know I'm going to get it back. So, and the, my mom and dad were going to look after the kids for us. And they still are. It's just that uh, instead of them spending the night there, um, they're just going to look after them here. Which which is fine. Xander's been kind of whiny the last couple of times, I guess, when he's been there about wanting to go home. Well, oh, you can really see the smoke coming out of my mouth as I'm still talking. Ah. Okay. Can you tell I've had too much coffee already? <laughs> um, so anyway, so we're probably going to go see a movie and... Go, I think we're probably, probably going to go to the keg uh, for, for dinner. Haven't quite figured out what movie to see yet, because last Wednesday we went and saw Ted, and I thought it was freaking hilarious, but of course Amanda was like, it's full of pot humor. I didn't like it. She lied. She said she did like it. No, she liked me. No, she didn't lie. She fibbed. She told her what a little, what a little white lie. So, yeah. Not much going on for for today. Um, technically, it's my day off. Sunday and Mondays are my days off. So, going to go to church and out for breakfast or brunch. Do people still do brunch? I don't know. We do. So, we're going to go for brunch with my parents. And then, uh, I may or may not have to work tonight because the guy that does my works my days off, he's working in the office here today, or today, not to mention the fact that last Monday I worked his shift for him because he ended up in the hospital, so he, uh, he, uh, you know, he, well, I owe you a shift, he said, well, that's great, that's fine, I just don't get paid for that day, though, because of the way that the hours get, anyway, you guys all, you don't need to know all that shit, um, so yeah, I realized with my channel, as of late, it's it's become more of a more of a vlog channel versus product reviews and stuff. So I'm going to try and get back into doing more product reviews. Um, but at the same time, you know, I kind of just like to put up videos about whatever I want, you know, which I'm going to quickly touch base on that because as of late, I've been getting a lot of trolls on my page. 
Um, one guy even, I put out a, a video a while back for how to get noticed on YouTube. And this guy had the audacity to post, nobody likes you. Like, that's supposed to affect me. I really could care less if people don't like me. Like, I have the subscribers that I have, and more people hopefully will subscribe to me and like what I put out. Uh, and, you know, it's like I've always said, I'm not on here to be the next big thing. You know, I mean, you've got all the big YouTubers. They all probably get hate mail or hate comments as well. They don't want to get to them. You don't see Ray William Johnson or Smosh or Shane Dawson or, heaven forbid, Fred. I can't believe that guy even got his own TV show. With that high-pitched, that squeaky-ass voice of his that he has. I can't believe... I mean, I watched a couple of videos of his, and it was like nails on a chalkboard to me. It really was. It was like... I couldn't believe that they gave this guy uh, his own TV show. Now, thank God I don't have it up here in Canada. Um, at least, not that I'm aware of. Maybe they'll have it on NTV or something. I don't know. So... I just think, you know, it's pretty pathetic that people have nothing better to do with their life than to go on to anybody's channel. It doesn't have to be mine. It could be anybody's channel. And basically just say stupid stuff. Leave, you know, not that they don't hurt me. It's not like they upset me. But they leave, you know, negative comments. Like, you're a dumb fuck. You know, you're a fucking idiot. And just stupid stuff like that. What's the point? You know, what, I mean, like, be, at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, thanks for the view. Thanks for, you know, giving me some money for looking at my video. Like, <laughs> really doesn't bother me. So, what else is going on here? Oh, so the family that lived next to us was a Korean family, and they used to have, like, I guess a youth group over on Friday and Saturday, Saturday nights. And they'd sing. Why does it do that? Every time I do a video, I get an email or something. Anyways, uh, they moved out yesterday, but they used to have like a worship youth group thing on the on those days, so I could sit on my patio here and, and hear them sing. Not that I understood what they were saying, though, because it was in Korean half the time. Although sometimes, sometimes I, I would understand what the tune was and go, oh, I know that song, but not all the time. And they were super nice. I never had any problems with them. You know, never had complaints. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's been semi-quiet here the last little while. It's almost like the calm before the storm. <laughs> so, anyways, that's all I can really think about ranting right now. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And if you have any suggestions for new videos, post them down below. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys all later. See ya.